Hello, hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing good. Well, you guys asked for a shorter video for the pins. Thank you for all the reviews and the likes and subscribe. Totally appreciate it. So, here's the sublimation pin. I got off a website. They're also on Etsy. So you just take this out. Take this out. And then you're going to wrap it around. Wrap your transfer around it. Tape it. And then I personally use heat tape to tape it um, real tight. So we'll see how tight I did it. They do sell shrink wrap. Well, and other companies sell shrink wrap. The one I bought them from does not sell shrink wrap. I just used heat tape. So my oven, according to my notes from the last one, I did it 365 for about three minutes. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put one in this time. Last time I did one and one and one. This time we're only gonna do one, see if it comes out. If so, then I'll do, I have 12 to do. So I wanna keep the video short, but technically if you wanna see the whole demonstration of wrapping the transfer and all that, um, go through the videos and um, there's a long one showing you each step that I did, not designing or printing, because you guys should know how to do that by now. All right, so let me lower my oven because I forgot I did a tumbler in it. So let me lower it because I don't want it um, going to the 400 mark. So I'm going to go ahead and let me set my timer on my microwave for three minutes. I am using Honesty Speaking Paper. So the release on this paper is super fast. So if you use ASUV, the 125, or any other brand, you might have to do it longer. You gotta know your um, how your paper releases and how your ink works. And then of course your oven plays a part too. Some are hotter than others, some are cooler. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna put one in just like that. Let me hit start and we'll go from there. So mine come in a little bag just like this. And then I bought these little cute little I think velvet bags on Amazon and they fit really cute to um, put your pin in. Then you don't lose it in your purse and all that. So it's a good way to say thank you. So you can do that. And I have some um, other transfers too, just in case, um, you know, I mess up and I have to have one ready to do again. So we'll see, we'll see. But that's why it's always good. Take notes and um, stuff like that. So to show you how to put the pin back, you, you put this part in first. Make sure you line it up just like there. Put the, pin, the ink in, the pin. And then you twist the bottom. We'll make sure this part is all the way down and then it should twist. It should, let me see. Might be turning it the wrong way on top of that. Whoops, thought I had it. Okay, just make sure you t unloosen the bottom or you can break your um break it yeah my pin is not popping back down might need some practice it's been a minute since i've done these we got one minute to go to see if these are right maybe i have to put the pin the ink this one in first Maybe I'm not putting it in right. There we go. Make sure it's in the hole. There we go. Make sure your pen is there. And they write black. So just a little bit out of practice. 
Well, that's what happens. Oh, great. And I don't rotate it. I don't do anything. So, my little timer's there. It's pointed at the O. So, 350-ish. My note said 365, but I don't have a thingy. I go from 350. Now, it's 350 inside. Out here, it is set at 300. So, that's why you have to have the temperature thing inside. Then we kind of know what the temperature is. Because outside, inside, it's all different. Okay. That is extremely hot. I got my little weed thing. We're going to sit here. I'm going to take the tape off. Oops. The tape fell off. You just got to grab where you started from. And then it should be able to come off. There we go. And then I just taped it with three little tapes. Make sure my transfer was snug on there. We'll see. How good it transfers. All right. So there we go. Awesome. So a little movement right there. So I'll probably redo this one. So there's your cross. Let's see. Focus. Okay, let me put the other ones in. Let's go ahead and do three because like I said you guys asked for a faster video I need to be here all night there we go so here's the ink there's really nothing left so here is the pen let me see if you guys can see if it will focus or not it's probably too small let me, see, let me find a part that's not so blurry or ghosted, I should say. There you go. Oh, shoot. I didn't set the timer. There we go. Oh, I'm glad I remember. Last time I did it. Okay, so let me get another pin and a transfer for that one. I printed out extra just in case. I can put 12 on 11 by um, 14 sheet. So let me take the pen out again. Let me get my scissors. I was hoping they would all come out right. At least I was prepared with extra transfers. So that just probably let me know that um, it wasn't tight. My transfer wasn't tight or I didn't tighten up my tape. And I got a little ghosting smeared. So this is the transfer. Everything is mirrored image. Let's see if it focus. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I designed it right here to put this part. Then it wouldn't get cut off. And then that's the, some of it got cut off. So that kind of told me that my paper shifted when I was doing it. So I'm just going to make sure I roll that part. Back to where it was. Try 
Let me get my tape. I'm probably not going to get it to um, transfer yet. Yeah, I didn't get to tape that one before these ones are done. Because I didn't set the timer, so they should be done. My timer has 15 seconds left. So we'll let those cool. Let me roll this one. Because just in case, I gotta roll some more. If you don't have your rolling skills down or nails, yes, your thumbs are definitely going to um, hurt. That's for sure. So. On. Definitely got to make sure your transfer is on and then your tape. So I just taped it like this. Yeah, it's all lined up inside. So I just taped it like that. So we're gonna wait. Let me undo these. See if I have to do any adjustment or anything. If not, I'll put the other ones that are ready to go in. Ouch. You definitely gotta be careful. You don't want to um, scrape your pen. But I put a lot of tape on the edge. I just stem myself too. I gotta get one of the pieces of tape and I can unroll. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, at least you know the first one came out. It does take some time to unravel. That's for sure. Definitely got to be careful you don't poke yourself. Okay, let me, that one's a little getting stingy. Let me move with these ones. And you can kind of tell when you're done if your tape is loose. Because see, I can lift it up right there. So that kind of told me I might have some issues with that one. You've got to make sure your tape is on right. I just want to make sure. 
before I put um, the other ones in. There we go. This one looks pretty good. There's your seam right there. Yep, so cool. So, with that one being done, we're gonna go ahead and we'll put three more in. Because how many did I do? Four more? We'll do four, because then I have four more. Just lay them in there. I'm going to take this one off. I can see if we have. Oops. And I still got to tape that one. Yeah, so this one had a loose tape too. Because I can just go like that. Ouch, I just poked myself again. Be very careful with the weed eater. After you get one good piece, it is um, good. All right. So no ink. This is honesty speaking paper, so the release is really fast and did pretty good. There's my seam right here. All right. So there we go. Did good there. So let me show you how I wrap it. Oh my goodness, I didn't put the timer on again. We'll do two minutes. I gotta remember that timer. Start at the edge, wrap it. Make sure it's tight. And I just oops, you do it any way you want. I just make sure it's tight. Turn my pin at an angle. Or you can go spend money on a shrink wrap, a hair dryer, or whatever. But just remember, different paper, different ink, different oven, all plays a part. All right, where's my scissors? So that one's done. So let me undo this one. Make sure I don't poke myself no more. There you go. You can even pull it out. Yes. Really good. Good, good, good. No ghosting, no nothing. Awesome, awesome. Hopefully these ones are done because I didn't set the timer. Let me move some of this. Uh, crowd it over here. Make sure I set the timer. The next set. Matter of fact, let me set the timer now. Oops, wrong one. Let me put 
these in. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five this time. Ooh, ooh, moving on up. Moving on up. And let me hit start. Make sure. So yeah, because I did the mess up pin that was in there too. So, so far so good. Just the one. And it's usually because it probably wasn't heated up right or the temperature dropped. So fine. If you're smart, you can put a little thing. Then you know where to pull it from. Of course, some of them I did, some of them I didn't. There you go. One big piece. And I'm going to just see if I can push it out. Nope, it's still too tight. Push it this way. Nope. Take this tape off. There we go. All right. Got a minute and a half for those ones. Let me see if I can unwrap these ones. Like I said, I don't want to keep you guys too long. The full details in the other one from start to finish. I know some of you guys wanted a shorter one. But just remember, everybody's oven paper, you know, is different. Some of you might have to go longer, shorter, adjust your time. I personally do not do anything at 400 because sometimes more than likely everything runs hot. So you're really cooking it more than 400. That's why it's good to have one of those things in there. And it looks like my temperature dropped to under 350. It's like 325 between the 300 and 350 in there. Maybe because there's so many in there. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that one I can't get off. Let's go to another one. Oops. There's my time. Let me move this one out of the way and we don't mix it up with those. Okay, let those cool for a little bit. I don't want to shut my oven off yet just in case I have to redo any. But it looks like we're going to be good to go. down then you can put whatever you want on them
Well, if it's going to take me too long to get these tapes off, then I'll just end the video because you guys asked for a short one. That's what I tried to do. I'll leave the link in the description of where I get the paper, where I get um, the pins from. Gotta make sure you leave a piece and you can find it. You're not fighting with the damn tape all the time. There we go. And then you don't even have to take it all the way off. So that one is good, good, good. Woohoo! Good to know. I didn't lose my touch. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, this one. This one should be good because the tape was already coming off. There we go. I'm trying to show you as many as I can. tight on the bottom. I can't even get the, the pin out. There we go. So here's another one. They're all pretty much the same. There are two different ones I'm trying to get to that I did. There's three different designs, but one was um, multiplied. taking too long. There we go. There we go. So this one kind of ghosted right there. But the rest of it is good. So I'll have to redo that one, but I'll do that one off. And you guys, I think these two, the last two, got to be the ones that are different designs, of course. After you get it going, you're good. Oh yeah, here's one the different design. Very colorful. Let's see if I can focus. So that's one. And this one, I believe, doesn't have a background. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
totally appreciate it. And asking for a shorter video that I'm trying to accomplish. for hanging on. Nope, this is the same one. Huh. Okay, so we did. And these two. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then 12. All right. And let's see. This one goes to. That one's good. That one's good. Okay, good. Okay. Might just have been that one. Thought there was one more, I thought. Yep, this one. So I got two. Well, I think that one was replacing that one, I believe. Yep, that was it. Awesome. All right. Well, until next time, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. See y'all. Bye-bye.